y'all. It's Juvie, and on this episode of Off the Shots, we have the one and only Legal Barb herself. Yeah. <laughs> So before we even get started, we just gonna go ahead and take a shot because my do girl didn't graduate. She's on Let's her PQ. She do get it. into it. He <laughs> hit. Okay. Now, let's just get into these questions, y'all. We bring them back off the shots, all right? So take your ex back or take a shot. Take my ex back or take a shot. Oh, yeah, take a shot for sure. For sure. If you thought you had a chance to spin a block, baby. <sighs> yeah, you're done. You're done. When I graduated law school, everybody's done. Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> All right, now this one is 10 minutes with God or $1 million? Hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to go with the 10 million, and here's why. <laughs> you know, I spend my time with the Lord every day. So I don't think I need that, you know, that yeah, one, you yeah. know what I mean, that minute with us. I'm sorry. Look, I've been spending every day with him and still ain't reached a million. Thanks. I'm sorry. We love you. We love you. But I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I can dig it. Okay? The only one that tell the truth. Everybody else want to lie, but it's, yeah. it's all good. It's all the truth here. Okay, so flip a coin and it lands on heads, you get 10 million. If it lands on tails, you get nothing. If you don't flip the coin, you get 1 million. What you doing? I'll take the risk. You I'll take, take the, the risk. risk. Yeah. Okay. I'll take the risk. I'll take the risk. <laughs> okay. So, Louisiana food or Texas food? Louisiana. What? Yeah. Off the muscle. But well, not specifically New Orleans. I'm going to say New Orleans food specifically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I want to say like a little bit of Beaumont's. We right next. We elbow to elbow. You know what I mean? So, it's kind of like we got a mixture. Of yeah. Issue, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because when you go up to Houston, they be like, boudin, what the fuck? But if you go to Louisiana and Beaumont, it's that's how we know. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So, I get it. Facts. So, now we're going to play a little game. You know that TikTok that's been going around. We ain't going to run though. <laughs> we ain't going to run. We're going to take a shot. <laughs> It's called Rock, Paper, Take That Shot, baby. Oh, okay. Okay, so best two out of three. Whoever loses each round, if you lose, you got to take a shot. Okay. Don't get but yourself wait. fucked up. Okay, but wait. You got to, what do you do? Rock, <laughs> paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, got you, got you, got you. You got okay. me? Okay. Now, I'm not going to use the scissors on this one, but let's go. Let's try, okay? Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Don't Damn, that is it. You need to get to it. And I said I wasn't going to use the scissors, and you still took paper. And I still believed you. Fuck it. That's my fault. Mm. Mm. That's okay. I'm scared for you. Me too. You rock. You ready? Yeah. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, okay. She did that one thing. Thanks. I'm scared. I'm scared, man. She might got me on the end, y'all. I'm scared of her. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh. All right. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. You think I give a fuck? Because I don't. Because I don't. Thanks. Mm. You need to catch up. Child. Okay. So now we finna play a game called Guess That Line. Really, I'm going to say a movie line, and you got to tell me what movie it come from. Okay. If you get it wrong, you already know. Damn. So let's try to get it together. Yeah. Okay. Is this your king? Is this your king? Coming to America. Yikes. <laughs> no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Take that shot. No, ma'am. It's Black Panther. What the fuck? Oh. Is this your king? Okay. okay. Is this y'all king? Is that queen? I don't know. Girl, I thought you would have got that one. Everybody like, all the black people was for that. Sorry about that, y'all. Sorry about that. So, I'm going to get you high today. You ain't got no job. You ain't got shit to do. Friday. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, we're good. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> OMG, you want to talk about mamas. Why oh, chick? Okay. Why you ain't got to go there. She already did it. <laughs> she already did it. So... Since we're going to talk about mamas, let's go ahead and talk about daddies. Mm. We're moving to Trinity Talks right now. Okay. So, there was this girl. She posted a picture on her Instagram story. Then, somebody slid up on it. Mm-hmm. Said, ooh, you looking good. You want to know who slid up on it? Her father. Mm. So, 
the daddy did not know that this was his daughter. Slid up in her DMs trying to trying to shoot a shot. Whenever she said, Daddy, I'm your daughter, I'm so and so's daughter, wow. he was just like, Shit, you looking good. What you think about that? <laughs> That is crazy. Yes. That's really crazy. I hope he, like, did he not know? Like, have they not seen each other in a while or something? I'm guessing he was a deadbeat. Okay, that's what I would hope. Because now you don't know that that's yeah. your daughter. That's what I would hope, because that's a little odd. It's the fact that after she confirmed that it was her, he still was like, shit, you looking good. Standing on you business. grown up. Yeah. He did not give a fuck. That's sick. If you're one of them, you're sick. <laughs> Take care of y'all kids. Please. Please. So that don't happen. Mm-hmm. So... <laughs> Man, it was a TikTok. It was this man. He had answered the, the call with the judge. I had already laced you up on it. Mm-hmm. So, come to find out, y'all, the man turned himself in, and the suspicion was already took it off of his ID. It was supposed to, basically, it was supposed to have already been taken off, but they still had the suspicion on there. So, he ended up going to jail for no reason. <laughs> what would you do as his lawyer? How we get to the back? <laughs> Well, y'all, this is really a loaded question. I'm not even gonna lie. Like when you ask a lawyer a question, it's not like yay or nay. Right. Like, you can't really just say some shit. Uh, like, right. You gotta you know, like, I just really gotta do some research. You know what I mean? To really give you a true answer. Mm-hmm. But I did see the video mm-hmm. and I thought it was fucking hilarious. The jokes really write themselves with these criminals. <laughs> you know, for him to to, you know, be on Zoom and saying, Hold on real quick, let me pull over mm-hmm. and you're in trouble for driving. Mm. Yeah. That, I mean, that's that's just fucking crazy. The proof is in the pudding, baby. You know what I mean? Like it just the jokes really write themselves. They really do. I'm not even gonna lie. But he was he was innocent. My man was innocent. It was just at the time they had caught him up. They just See, caught him up. So they said. That's what they said. That's what the people said. <laughs> that's I don't what they said. <laughs> I don't know that. <laughs> so another TikTok that's going around is this girl cheated on her husband with his cousin. Mm. Okay, so now. The cousin's wife, because they both was married, y'all. The cousin's wife is now trying to sue them. Wow. Do you think she going to win? First of all, I wouldn't even know what the lady is suing for. Don't like, you, like, <laughs> when you get divorced, don't you, like, you could get some money. I mean, like, probably emotional distress. But <laughs> I say public embarrassment, like Mariah Carey did. Bitch, don't get my point. Like, y'all got me fucked up. No, that's on both sides. That's crazy. I truly think that like the husband on this side and then the wife on this side should really just band together and really come at their ass full throttle. No laws though. I don't even think they need the laws. Like, I feel like kill their ass. <laughs> take them out. I hope society <laughs> is like really killing them themselves. They're killing like. them to death. I hope she deleted that damn TikTok. She's very TikTok. Yeah. Okay? And I hope she deleted. This the last TikTok news, y'all. Y'all know I gotta hit them with the TikTok news. So, basically, they got this girl. Her name is Pre So Funny. Mm-hmm. She's basically, she's a comedian. She always just posts her pins on everything that everybody got going on. But she just be making it funny. Mm-hmm. Basically, they had this lady. She is a rapper. And she is finna be 30. <laughs> she finna be 30. She pushing 30, y'all. And her boyfriend is 19. Damn. They've been dating before. Do the math. Oh, wow. They've been dating for like four years. And you said the young man is 19. 19. And they got kids. Oh, oh wow. So basically, she, the girl that had the, we gonna call her BB. Okay. BB on TikTok trying to prove her case. And pre, obviously, everybody sending it to her to talk about. And she was like, I ain't trying to talk about that pedophile type shit. They end up going back and forth. Pre is eating her down with the pedophile <laughs> jokes. You already know. We talking about Breezy. We talking about Dreezy. Yeah. We getting to it. Yeah. Now we talking about Beezy. Wow. So what do you feel about these young men that's dating older women, thinking that they throw? Do you feel like you are a victim? Do you feel like you? <laughs> um, I feel like it depends. You know, it depends on on the guy. Like mm. some guys, they like they really believe in this woman. Like they damn near see like they mom in this bitch. You know, it's on some weird stuff. Mm-hmm. So I would say like for them. They are a victim. Now you do have the guys that's just trying to trick on, you know, trick right. on the girls. You know, you you uh, you know, big time girl. You set up. You know, you got your stuff together. You know, mm-hmm. he's just trying to get a little check. You know, and I understand. But at the end of the day, I think everybody's a victim. Everybody's a victim. Everybody's a victim. I, swear, I be thinking about shit. I be like, Damn, you know what? I was a victim back in the day. Thanks. Everybody's a fucking victim. Like because at the end of the day, that grown lady, like she knows what the fuck going on. She knows. And what like the fuck for going her on. to like prey on them kids, like she wrong for yeah. that. 
Yeah. I feel like if this go for men, this go for women. I feel like the reason why people go to people that's low, like a lower age than them, is because either you fucked out in your age group, and nobody want to pull your ass because yeah. you just ran through, Thanks. and not even just ran through, but you know, mm-hmm. everybody your age ain't trying to fuck with you, <laughs> and or you just really fucked up. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the latter. I'm yeah. gonna go with the latter. <laughs> Like, I think you gotta be fucked up in head. Just gotta anyway, be. Because when young boys be trying to talk to me, I know, like, I look young, baby. I'm, I'm wrong. <laughs> when young boys be trying to talk to me, I'll be like, is that a backpack? Literally. <laughs> Where's your mom? What are you doing? <laughs> no. I Fuck immediately no. block. I'm not even. I'm and not what, even could a, what could a young man do for you? Not a goddamn like, thing. If he, ain't, if he ain't one million up, baby, you can't do this. Not that many, I'm not gonna yeah. bring my daughter to your mama house. Yeah. Cause that's where you live. <laughs> but hey, we gonna leave it. Put it to dust. Stop being pedos, okay, you guys. That's all I'm saying. That is. So where does the nickname Georgia come from? Well, um, I moved from Columbus, Georgia, to Beaumont, Texas, in like 2013, and I was playing volleyball at the time at Westbrook. And one of the coaches, I think Coach White. He was talking to Coach Randall, and Coach Randall was like, who is that girl? And Coach White was like, oh, yeah, she just came from Georgia, yada, yada, And so Coach Randall was like, come on, Georgia, let's go. And so it literally just came from him telling her where I'm from, and it stuck. Everybody, they love Georgia. What can I say? You know what I mean? I'm a victim. I, I really <laughs> thought this girl name was Georgia for the longest until everybody's like, no, her name's Brianna. And yeah. I was like... Yeah, a lot of people don't know my real name, but it's funny though, cause like in Texas, everybody knows me as Georgia. When you go, to, I mean, yeah, when you go to Georgia, people know me as Bride Spy. When you're in Louisiana, like it's Bree, it's Bride, it's the legal barb, like right, you know it's the legal barb. It's, like, it's wherever you go, my my body's good, name's hey. good. Okay, choose one. She's cute, she's thick, pretty, pretty. You know what I'm saying? It, it just is what it is. Thanks. So, how was it growing up in Georgia? I personally loved it. Like, I was only there until I finished middle school. Um, and then I moved here for four years to just go to high school. So, I personally love Georgia. Like, I'm moving back this fall. So, okay. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm taking it back home. Don't play. I was just going to ask you if you missed it, but girl. Fuck it right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Fuck it right. So, was it a cultural shock when you moved to Beaumont? Fucking right. Like, first of all, off the muscle, the boys was just different. Like, in Georgia, they really court you for real. Like, they really sweethearts. They really give a fuck about women. Welcome when I Texas. came over here, I'm like, bro, you know how, like, you, you're the new girl or whatever, and people want to pick they up. They all of like, yeah. It's the boys. It's not even the girls. It's like, not. the girls not paying me no more. It's the fucking boys. It's the, like, girl, and it's, we call it the newbie syndrome because it don't matter. You could have literally been... Westbrook, you know, they had Ozan. You could have went to Ozan, then came to Westbrook. The niggas on you. Oh, yeah. They just trying to bring oh, you yeah. before anybody Literally. else. Literally. They're Literally. vultures. They are. They're they are. Vultures. So it was just so weird. And just like the, like some of the lingo y'all would use, like throw, like in Georgia, like being yeah, thrown is like, you're fucking crazy. Right. And out here they're like, man, that shit throw. And I'm like, excuse me? What right. do you mean by that? You know what I mean? Yeah, they're yeah. like, nah, bitch, you got that shit on. I was like, like exactly, okay. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so what is one crazy story you have from going to Westbrook? Oh, that's a good one. Damn, let me think of Oh my fucking God. Let's fucking talk about it. I'm glad the camera is rolling. So, back in the day, I don't, I don't even want to say this lady name because this is how I got suspended the first time. The first? <sighs> yeah, yeah. Y'all, y'all, bar was you. Yeah. Oh, I see. No, I'm like, I see. I see. So, yeah. So, if y'all went to Westbrook around this time, y'all already know the story. So, I parked in this parking spot. It had no names. There was no handicap sign. There was nothing. It was a clean spot. It's just right next to the gym. Mm-hmm. So I'm parking oh, there yeah. every morning. I'm parking there every morning. Everybody know I had my red Mustang. That motherfucker said I was just gonna say, yeah. type shit. They knew who the fuck I was. So right. I'm parking there every morning. This this lady pulls up and she like, you got to move. And so I'm like... LOL, roll up the window. Right. So she go get the cop. Now, literally, she know me and the cop cool. So when right. she brought the cop over, I'm like, she not even going to say nothing. She going to be like, girl, there's nothing I can do because, like, what is she doing wrong? Right. The cop come over. She talking about, friend, just move. Bitch, what? what? So, okay, let me tell y'all one thing about me. If you wrong, like, I got to let you know you wrong. And I'm not going to stop until you know. 
So I called my mom and she was like, girl, just move. I'm going to come up there and set some shit straight. Right. So my mom came up there or whatever. They was just like, whoever gets to the parking spot first, going to get it. So, bitch, I woke up every fucking morning at 5 o'clock because that's how fucking petty I am. And I got to that motherfucking spot at 6 a.m. every so day. So was she a teacher? Yeah, she was uh, a teacher. Oh, sorry, y'all. She was a teacher, okay? And that's another thing. I don't, I don't beef with children. I beef with adults. You okay. Know what I mean? Yeah. So in high that's school, in high school, that's the only person that could ever say they had beef with me okay was this damn coach so y'all i literally would wake up every 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 morning get to this hole and so it came to a thing where like she would start coming at 5 30 so now i'm coming up at five and so we would go back and forth back and forth right and so one day i'm leaving school and i'm like damn that'd be crazy if this lady keep my car so I get all the way home. I get. I, I was like, let me just look at the car. I look at the car on the passenger side. That bitch key. <gasps> so I went on Twitter and I said, allegedly, because at the time I knew how big vocabulary was. So I didn't want to accuse her. Right. So I said, allegedly, such and such has keyed my car. Twitter goes crazy. They right. talking about Georgia drop the name, like drop the address. We finna handle this whole lot of lot. And I'm just like, y'all like, LOL. You right. know, you right. like, y'all stop. Yeah. Y'all, so fast forward to the next day, I get called to the office. This lady talking about she's scared for her life because they finna key her car and she finna get beat up. And I After you key my car. You deserve that. So I got suspended, y'all. I got it was either pathways if I didn't stop or it was get suspended, and I was just like, man. Let me go and get suspended, man. Can't yeah. go to pathways. I'm, okay. I'm gonna keep it real. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. I ain't going. You going? Cause I ain't going. Right. Fuck no. <laughs> so definitely was a crazy story. Yeah. She beefing with teachers, y'all. Don't yeah. fuck around. Yeah. If you I got don't. a teacher, you got beef with, and you want to do it legally. Call me. You call me. Y'all can call me now. Call <laughs> I went through it. <laughs> exactly. So what made you want to become a lawyer? So, okay. So when we were in Georgia, I wanted to be an entertainer. Like I wanted to, you know, drop my own music and everything. So when I was in eighth grade, I finally dropped my first single. But like I said, after eighth grade, we moved here. So mm -hmm. moving here, there was really nobody that I knew that was in music or mm -hmm. doing it. So I kind of just gave it up. And I was like, well, I got to figure out something else that I wanted to do. But I never really thought about doing anything else but entertainment. Right. So I was like, well, shit, you got to be successful. And so I was like, well, what does success look like in the black community? And it was like a lawyer, engineer, or a doctor. Mm -hmm. Didn't know any of them in right. my whole life. So I was like, well, I'm not good at science, so being a doctor is done. I said, I'm good at math, but I don't know how deep it gets, so that's done. And I right. said, lawyers, all they do is read. Can't be that hard. L-O fucking L. I was like, can't okay. be that hard. <laughs> so I was like, fuck it, I'm going to be a lawyer. And then like through the process, I kind of... I still found myself to what I've ultimately always wanted to do was entertainment. So I've been able to kind of connect the two together. And here we are today. That is so good. So what made you say, I'm going to start doing legal barb. I'm going to start posting about it, getting more recruitment. Like, what's up with that? So at first, it really was just to kind of just share my journey. Like, I feel like I didn't know anybody going into law school. And I knew a lot of my friends didn't know anybody. So I'm like, look, I'm just going to make this page on some like Finsta type shit. It was a throwaway page. That's why I don't even follow myself. Like, it was just a throwaway page. And I was just like, I'm going to just share my journey through it. And Throughout the process, like I got girls I've never even met before in cities I've never even been in, right. DM and me saying how inspiring I am, and it was just like damn. So after seeing that, I was like, I'm gonna take this shit serious. And yes. so, you know, we got over 600 followers now, and the girl don't follow nobody. And let me tell y'all something: those are organic bodies. Organic. Okay. We ain't promoting. Shit. We ain't promoting shit. Let me. I like that. Okay. <laughs> so why did you choose Xavier? So Xavier actually chose me. So I didn't get any like tutoring for SAT, ACTs. Like I just went in them hoes and I did fucking horrible. Um, yeah. On my SATs, I didn't even hit a thousand on them hoes. Like that's how bad I did. Girl. ACTs, I didn't even hit a 20 on that bitch. Like nigga was like barely getting into shit. Right. So I um, applied to Gremlin. I applied to fucking Spellman. Um, and Xavier and really it was originally because I was going in for broadcasting I just wanted to be on TV like I said so right. I was going in for broadcasting and then I came up with you know deciding to be a lawyer and so Xavier was really the best thing that chose me like I was going to go to Gremlin but like Xavier called the house and was like we got a scholarship my dad was like you're done right you're going to New Orleans and it really was the best thing for me because like my freshman year I'm meeting girls that want to be a fucking neurologist I didn't even know what that is but that's a fucking brain surgeon right and I'm like bro what 
what? Right. So like just to be around that and just seeing like how they actually study because I never had to study before until I fucking you know started I was this journey. Say, girl, <laughs> cheating on way through yeah. college and high school is crazy. Bro, yeah. So like you know seeing them it just kind of inspired me and so you know going to Xavier is really like I said the best thing that could have ever happened to me that I didn't choose. Okay. And what is one crazy college story that you got for us, girl? Crazy college story, sheesh. Let me think about this. I think, I don't know. I really wasn't like wilding out, y'all. I was really like in my in your bag. Books. Yeah, right. I was really like in my books and in my bag. No cap, like every year. I really just had a job. Like I was just working. I know. Like, like, okay. I don't really think I did anything like outlandish. No, oh, school on the other hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I get it. I get it. So because you said you was in your bag, we know that you do work with World Division. So, how did you get introduced to them? So, it was really in high school. So, my brother, he's three years older than me. He mm -hmm. went to Louisiana Tech with them. And so, he was real cool with them. This nigga was literally selling their t-shirts out his trunk. And so, when I moved to New Orleans, I was working at the aquarium, but I got online for AKA, so I had to quit the aquarium. So, now I just didn't have a job. So, uh, 2019 came, I hit my brother up and I was like, look, like, I need a job. I know your boys in New Orleans and they had opened up a kiosk. And so I was like, you know, like, let me, let me get on. Like, I just wanted to, you know, get a job. I just wanted right. to make some money, make some you money. know, you in college and shit. And so, you know, that I started in February of 2019 and by 2019 of May, like just literally a few months apart, they came up to me and they was like, we want you to be our general manager. And I was just like. Don't play with that. Y'all know the only job I ever had was Chick Fil A at the time. Like Chick Fil A, nigga, oh, you look good. Yeah, like nigga, with your like, pleasure. <laughs> okay, with your pleasure. No play. Like I was only working at Chick Fil A, so I was just like, yeah, like let's do it because I'm like clearly they see something, and you know that resulted into me like managing three kiosks all over Louisiana, and now they're like a multi million dollar company. Yes, I, yes, world, so. yes. I did see that. So. Would you say that they have opened up a lot of doors for you since you said you did want to be in the industry? Would you say that? For sure, because, like, working with them, they really, like, showed me you really could do anything in this world. Like I said, I always wanted to be on TV. I was, so it's like, just start it. Like, just right. do it. Like, you know how you got your podcast right now or, mm -hmm. you know, your interview show? Like, it's just do it. Like, whatever on this earth that you and it, it doesn't have to be big, outlandish, you know, type of production. Like, girl, everybody got a phone. Set the phone up and start making your videos. Get to it. Like, you know, so I think, you know, in that aspect and also, like, now they have a partnership with Rap Snacks. Mm -hmm. And so, again, like, I'm a huge hip-hop girly. Like, I love hip-hop through and through. And so, to have this partnership with a hip-hop chip brand right. is, like, freaking crazy. Like, I'm literally... NBA Young Boys manager literally knows who I am, you know, and it's just like, bro, all because of having that partnership, making those connections and networking, you know, I've been able to meet so many people and, yeah. you know, make genuine connections with them. So, yes, that is amazing. And just to put on, you are a part of that organization, but you are a part of, of the biggest organization around the country, baby. Oh, wait. AKA. Oh, okay. Don't play. With oh, me. okay. So, <laughs> how does it feel to be a part of that sisterhood? So, it feels so great. Like, that's something I've been wanting since I was a kid, like, mm -hmm. to be an AKA. So, to, like, to be in there and be. The first one in my family doing everything. Like, I couldn't go in that bit and be like, oh, yeah, my mom won, my grandmama won. Like, no, no. it was me, you know. And so to kind of, like, just go through the interview process and, you know, be chosen to be a part of that sisterhood, it was just... It was just really a dream come true. And then again, like just being in a community of women that are just like you trying to be just as great as the next guy, you know, like my whole line are like doctors, engineers, lawyers. Like I know so many professionals, you know, and it's just crazy because like my parents didn't have that. They they couldn't be like, oh, you say you want to be a, a brain surgeon? No worries. Let me call it my sister. Right. Oh, but I can't. You know what I mean? So really okay. just. Okay. So just creating, like <laughs> creating something different for, you know, the next generation. It's great. I like that. So looking back on your life, is there anything you would change or that you regret? Um, no, I really don't because like I said, like life is it's, it's gonna happen the way it needs to at the end of the day. If you continue to be true to yourself and really chase like what you're genuinely passionate about, what you wanna do in life is gonna find you. So like I said, like going to law school. Nigga didn't know no lawyers. Like, I just said, fuck it. Like, I'm going to just do this shit. And then, like, at the time, I thought I wanted to be a criminal law attorney. L O fucking L. I'm in the courtroom, in the jail cell, crying with the <laughs> I was going to say, I'm like, I'm so sorry. Like, <laughs> he 
like, what you crying for? Like, you could go home. Like, <laughs> I, don't think about the, I don't think about the crime. I'm okay. like, I can't do this. Like, you need to go to jail, sir. I'm sorry. You have to go. I'm sorry. No, thanks. So, you know, and just being able to kind of like keep my, my passions and what I really like and what really, you know, fuels me every day and makes me want to be like, yeah, I want to continue to do this. I think, you know, just being true to yourself, like you'll, you'll find you'll find your your spot so like i wouldn't i wouldn't change nothing i feel like everything happened the way it needed to happen like yeah. even moving from georgia like i know if i would have never moved here i would have never went to law school right i would have never like went to college because i would have just been pursuing music and that would have been it mm -hmm. like once i graduated high school that would have been it for it like what i'm going to school like you know like i'm gonna just chase chase music but you know so i'm just so grateful like honestly i can't express that enough okay <laughs> i like that so are you single Ooh, the legal barbs do be in my business. Yeah, yeah. Are you single? What's up? I am single. I am. Okay. So what does it take for a man to win your heart? To be honest, like, because I work so hard at, like, my craft, I need a man that's going to, like, take a stress off of me. Like, you know, if you can't, and I hate to say this, but like, if you can't, like, if a bitch need her nails done, her hair done, her bill pay, like, if you not a nigga that's trying to like make a problem go away, there's no reason for me to be rocking with you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, because I could do bad on my own, you know? Mm. So, you know, definitely somebody that's, you know, willing to solve a problem mm. and, you know, just a sweet guy. I do like sweet guys. Yes. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Yes, you're so sweet. <laughs> so, I did hear you. You've been talking about the music. First of all, I never knew that you was into me. I know that you would just be playing when you be doing Oh, my God. I got to play my song for y'all. No, facts. Yeah. Okay, so when, like, are you going to get back into the music? Are you yeah, okay, be... so I went viral on Twitter after I fucking graduated law school. I put on there, you know, I'm officially a lawyer, yada, yada, yeah, That whole got that. over 1 million views on that hoe, right? So I said, you know what, everybody, like, a lot of, it was just, a, like, a lot of trolls, like, random shit, like, bananas going crazy and, like, enchiladas Dumb adding shit. me, you know? It was crazy. So I said, you know what, I'm going to come out with a first day out freestyle. When I passed the bar to let them hoes know, like, yeah, all y'all was doubting me. You know, everybody, you know, they didn't believe in me. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm going to be a lawyer. They like, oh, you? Right. <laughs> okay. So I do plan to, to get back into the music. And also, like, you know, I have friends that are rappers and stuff like that. So protecting them. So even if I'm not in front of the camera, still being able to be behind the scenes and mm -hmm. protecting, you know, artists and creatives in that capacity. So, yeah, we will. Yes, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> What else do we have to see from the legal bar? So much more, y'all. Like, for real, for real. Like, my life is really just starting. I've been in school for 20 years straight. And so... Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. well. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, since Damn. fucking, yeah, since fucking pre-K, y'all. Like, I never took a break or nothing. So, to finally, like, be out in the world after after August 1st, starting on August Yeah, let's drink to that. Yes. Starting August 1st, I'll be completely free. And so, you know, I'll be able to finally start my reality TV show about the legal barb and like, who am I? What is life like as a 25 year old attorney? You know, like bitch, you young, like I'm young and getting money. And so, I just wanna, you know I mean? so I just want to show that to like the world and stuff. So really, you know, starting a YouTube channel and just really putting more effort into the legal barb and, you know, just showing y'all behind the scenes of like my day to day, what, what is life like after the bar and like all this shit. Yes. And we, we gonna be staying tuned because I love to see your growth. I love you as a person. I always admired you it, since we went to school. You're just so passionate about the things that you love. You're so genuine and mm -hmm. you're so friendly. And that's one thing that I always remembered about you and your smile, girl. Like, and the fact that she is Georgia peace down, yeah. baby. Yeah. I'm so happy that you're moving back to Georgia, by the way, because yes. I know that that's your roots, baby. Yes. Bring it back home. Yes, Bring it back girl. to the city. Everybody yeah. always want to give to the cities that they go to instead of giving back to where they from. Come on now. So I love that yeah. you're going back to where, yeah. where it all started. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. So we're going to end this episode, y'all, and just let's just give a big old welcome to Georgia for coming down, baby. But Thank we call you for her having me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and even the baby said something i know that's right <laughs> all right so y'all we gonna end this episode with a good bye and we're gonna take a shot let's drink to that don't forget to follow off top tv don't forget to yes. follow can juvie and don't forget to follow the legal barb all, all right, right.